California is home to some of the strongest populations of salmon on the West Coast. Native runs have been diminished um, by various factors over decades. Chinook are endemic to California and really part of our natural heritage here. In my opinion, for Scott Valley to maintain its beauty, its economic vibrancy, and its unique place in this world, there has to be a lot of salmon. There has to be viable ranches. They can be together. We can have record numbers of salmon, have large numbers of cattle feeding our family, feeding your family. Amidst all the challenges the California drought has presented, ranchers, farmers, and fisheries management agencies are beginning a new conversation about a future with vibrant, healthy landscapes and the recovery of endangered salmon. Recovery of salmon is ultimately about people, um, not just fish. It's about working with people and meeting them where they live um, and understanding their needs. Living in close association with the land and caring for the land is um, similar to living in close association with people and caring for people and living in a community. And the community involves the humans and the ecosystem. This drought is having the opportunity to kind of reopen a community conversation about what can we do across the landscape for fish and for the agricultural production. Balancing water supplies with competing demands for agricultural production and the needs of endangered salmon will continue well beyond the drought and finding solutions for long-term salmon recovery will require similar collaboration and flexibility among stakeholders. I think a lot of the different agencies that manage water and salmon in California have had different visions and I see that they're coming together. It's a new era of everybody trying to figure out where is the consistency, where are our unified priorities and, I, and that effort is key. And I, and I believe that it's essential and it's going to be part of the, of the formula that, that creates an outcome of success. Going forward, um, we know the agencies can't do it all. Um, I mean, we just can't expect them to do it. It's not fair, really. And so we have to be, you know, forming partnerships, trying to see what we can do from a local, regional perspective to come up with plans, money, working in concert with the agencies. You know, we're going to continue to do that. Salmon recovery in California is not a guarantee, but it is a worthwhile goal that can be reached by working together. So the only way we can really get what's necessary for recovery is by working in a collaborative fashion with partnerships with those private landowners that actually own and manage the land, both ensure their livelihood, keep their economic vitality whole, and also provide better conditions for fish that lead to recovery. And it's an opportunity that we can't miss. When I first moved here, I could fish Scott River and I would like to fish Scott River again in my lifetime. I think the measures that we're taking will help promote that. Rebuilding populations of endangered salmon requires collective engagement. Everyone can do their part to help iconic California salmon survive. Well, I think the average person, what they can do to contribute to salmon, uh, increased salmon survival and salmon recovery is really looking at water efficiency. Water is a very limited commodity. The population in California is growing yearly, so our demand on water is going to only increase. So we have to figure out how to do more with less. And I think that's probably the single most important thing people can do. It's absolutely essential. To find out how you can conserve water and become involved in salmon and steelhead recovery, please visit the California Department of Water Resources and NOAA Fisheries websites.